Our journey now continues to El Basan via the old communist train station. Look at this, guys. Look at this beautiful station here. It's amazing. On to the Soviet trains. Are they Soviet trains? This is our chariot. This is an old Deutsche Bahn train. You can tell by this. Bitte nur mit gültige Fahrkarte. You're only allowed to ride with a valid cart. But look at the trains that they let operate in Albania. This is unreal. You would definitely not be able to do that anywhere else. I cannot believe they let this thing run. Look at how you enter, I think, just get in there. Yeah. You want me to get in? Look at this step. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I would say that when it comes to other countries, I really try to not be judgmental, but come on, this is awful. This is, I mean, it must be a joke. I cannot believe they let people use these trains. The fact that they sell tickets for you to sit on this, I mean, the seats are falling apart, like there's holes, the windows are smashed in, the, up, the upper part is missing a, missing a piece. Oh, Albania, why? This is the weirdest cultural experience I've ever had. There's a whole bunch of homeless people on this train as well. It's a, it's a mixed bag. Hey man, what do you, what do you think about, oh, sorry. What do you think about this train? It's the, the best. It's the best. <laughs> so this is the, the, the one and the only that we have till now. Because the real uh, the real way in Albania is still under construction, but um, the the reason why this train is still in function is because it's uh, in the history of Albania, so they still have it. I like it. So yeah, that is the reason why they they still working. Fair enough, dude. I think they should uh, they should buy some new trains. I think Germany has more trains to donate. <laughs> yeah. They have to, right? So guys, we've arrived in our final destination for the day after the lovely train ride was a blast. Here we are, Stazione Hecurordor Elbasan. This is Elbasan and this is what a, yeah, an Eastern European Balkan train station looks like. Thank you, train. How was the train ride for you? Yeah, it was super, super, super. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> We've got one more thing to do, which is to get rakia, which is the national drink of Albania. We've got a, I don't know, an old fortress. I don't know anything about this fortress, but we're in a city called El Basan, and they've made some really nice, uh, some really nice bars and restaurants inside this huge fortress. I mean, it goes all the way down there. It goes down this way and people actually live inside the fortress as well. So we're going in here. 
All right, so final stand, guys. We're in our last spot. This is rakia. This is the national drink of Albania. It's a liquor that's made from basically distilling grapes. It's very similar to brandy or slivovica, like from the uh, Slovakian region. There it is. It's pretty strong, and I have to say, this is a this is a big amount. So uh, I will say cheers in Albania, which is gzuar, and uh, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, I like it. That's good. It's very great. It's very alcoholic. Got a little bit of grape with some sweetness. It's nice. It's nice. Out of alcohol, I give it an 8 out of 10.